peace, love, and light to you, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. I am Butterfly Tarot, and it's I, the Butterfly, and I'm here to give you your mid May to the end of May 2020 reading, general reading you love. So, I titled this reading, which is going to be a counter cross spread. I'm titling it What's Up With You. So, we're trying to figure out what's up with you. What's up with you? What's going on with you? Alright. Dick's still slippery. <clears throat> so, we're just going to jump into this reading to find out what's going on with you for from now until the rest of May. And we have to be honest with ourselves. Time is fluent. This is a general reading. All things may not apply to you. Yours may be vice versa. Or this can possibly not be your reading. So let's just be realistic about the reading. Thanks for certain. I keep the funky here. I'll tell you what I see. And I'll tell you what you need to hear. I'm not here to... I mean, I can give you, I give advice at the end of my readings, but I don't want to call my baby you. I want to tell you what you need to know and tell you if you can fix it. I'll give you advice on how to fix it, if that is at all possible. Okay, so here's your card, Virgo. Virgo. I love your little earth signs. Who's your ruling planet? Just like Gemini, you are ruled by Mercury. Communication. Mm -hmm. And who are you? You're an earth sign. Yes, a gentle earth sign, or at least so it said. You know how you Virgos can be. That's why you're the hermit card. Uh huh. All right, we're gonna get right into this reading. Spoke too soon. Today's reading is brought to you by the Three of Swords in Reverse. So, uh, overall energy of this reading. What's going on? Lovers in Reverse. Damn diggity all damn. Crossing energy is the Two of Cups in Reverse. Oh Virgo, my heart is already hurting. Underlying factors, two of pentacles, somebody was juggling, obviously, three of swords in reverse, past energy, chariot, moving on, leaving a situation behind, going towards what will be victorious for you to give you life, and crowning thoughts, the higher point in the reverse, you may be going through a divorce right now, Virgo. Oh wow, this is some intense energy, Virgo. Wow. Alright, the overall energy of this reading is the Three of Swords. Let's talk about heartache and pain. Right now, you are hurting because of why? What's going on? The lovers in the reverse. You have suffered a breakup, okay? And it's confirmed by the crossing energy of the Two of Cups in the reverse. That is two. That's three heartache and pain. That there has been an ending to a relationship that you have had and the underlying issue or factor is the two of pentacles the two of pentacles is saying that somebody was juggling most likely a third party situation 
So past energy is a chariot card, choosing to move on. That decision had been made to move on, to go elsewhere. Crowning thoughts, you got the Hierophant in the reverse. You may be in the process of filing for a divorce, Virgo. This is very, very heartbreaking, Virgo. Very tragic. I want to clarify the Hierophant card. Why is the Hierophant card here? third-party situation okay chronic thoughts power font in reverse because of a third-party situation I'm sorry so with the three of Pentacles is saying that you want to leave a situation because three is a crowd okay that's why the three swords is here. So it's confirmed twice. And with the, the two of pentacles, it's top plus somebody was juggling. So obviously you found out that your lover had another lover. And that caused you to have a breakup. And you have decided to move on. And now you're waiting. You are waiting to file for divorce because of the situation. You don't... You don't even know how to proceed, like, because of what's going on right now. Like, how do you file for divorce with all that that's going on within the court systems right now? This is terrible. What's about to happen? Tell me what's about to happen for Virgo. Oh, poor Virgo. Uh -huh. Hermit in the reverse. You know, that's your opposite card. Hermit means to go in go inside to to do some introspection but the hermit here is saying that you would like to go and hide you would like to go away but you can't right now you would like to do the very thing that virgos do but right now you just cannot you have to stick it out you have to you have to be present in the moment okay virgo what are your fears virgo what are your fears this is very, very depressing. It's very sad, heartbreaking, Virgo. What are your fears? What are your fears, Virgo? Tell me what Virgo's fears are. What is it that Virgo with fears? Hmm. Magician in the reverse. Even after this betrayal, you still want to work on it. You still want to work on this. It's saying that you will not be able to manifest a new beginning with the person who has obviously, I'm sorry, obviously backstabbed and betrayed you. Oh, this is terrible, Virgo. I know Virgo is like the Pisces of the Earth sign. Matter of fact, your opposite sign is Pisces. I mean, you're like the most sensitive of the Earth signs. Virgo, you're very sensitive. Your opposite sign is Pisces for a reason. How others see you, the moon card. There's much that you are keeping inside. You are very depressed right now. You have a lot of fears and anxiety. Things that you keep hidden from others. You're trying to keep how you feel under wraps, but you can fool some of the people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all, of, all the time. They know that you're hurting. Oh, about the situation, Virgo. What do you wish for, Virgo? What is it that you truly wish for? Ah, oh, look at that. King of Cups. You could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You are wishing for this person to extend a love to you. After they've done you dirty, you still wishing for that, Virgo? Why would you wish for such a thing? This is a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing. So even after all the maltreatment that you've received, even after all the heartache and pain, I know you don't want to go through a divorce because divorces are rough. They can send you into depression. 
but you're hoping that this person still loves you and cares for you and will come back to you and extend a cup of love to you. What is the outcome concerning this situation? What is the outcome, universe, concerning this situation? For Virgo. Mm. keep these just because of what they're saying okay you're oh shucks you gonna stay there even though there's another woman involved and even though you are happy and this is this is this is Capricorn but the Queen of Pentacles also just represents earth signs in general this is your cup I mean not your cup your card it's say even though you are unhappy even though you are unhappy, you know that there's another woman, but you will not leave this situation. You know this person that you're dealing with has broken your heart. They have a third party situation. You don't want to get a divorce. You're holding on to it even though they have screwed you over. You're going to hold on to it. You're going to hold on to it and not walk away from it even though you know this this winch right here, this, this B-B-I-T-C-H. But her, she exists here. She has taken your place in your home or wherever in in your lover's life, where this lover is not even like he's obviously invested somewhere else. I'm I'm, I'm taking it that you are the divine feminine, and you are seriously unhappy about this. But at the same time, you still want to stick around. And at the same time, I don't know if you are with child. I am hoping you are not with child. Virgo, I'm hoping you are not with child. But this is definitely talking about an unhappy family life, a lack of success and sadness. But with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's talking about someone who neglects themselves, someone who is depressed, someone who is not going to be a good mother or mate, someone who just you are not taking care of yourself so you're going to stay in this energy with this i don't even know what to say i want to leave this reading there we go this is terrible four of swords yeah you're not going anywhere four swords and the reverse you're trying to stick around why are you trying i don't, I don't even know why you i don't yeah, devil card because you are attached to this person. You you can't walk away. You know, you're codependent on this person. So no matter what this person does to you, you're still going to stick around to be abused further by this person. Ah this is terrible, Virgo. Oh, this is so terrible. Mm mm mm. Absolutely terrible. I'm fighting back my own tears, seriously. I just want some advice for you, Virgo. Universe, give Virgo some advice. Trust. Rest, is it rest and reconciliation. That's the nine of wands. Trust. Taking a leap of faith. So the nine of wands is talking about mm -hmm. reconsider your position. Seek. That's the hermit card. That's your card. Go inside. Rest and reconciliation. Think about your position, trust, trust the universe, but at the same time, don't be a fool. Two of, look, two of, of swords refusing to see. You're refusing to see the situation. New vitality, ace of wands, new passion in the beginning. Oh gosh, I don't even know what that new passion in the beginning is supposed to mean, new vitality. Could it be that saying invest in new vitality in yourself with the fool card? I'm saying pull back from the situation. You have a decision to make. Stop turning a blind eye to the situation, okay? You got the hermit card. Stop going go inside. If you're going inside and this new vitality is really the ace of wands, I'm saying to you, Luther, I'm saying to you, 
to take this new vitality and turn it in on yourself. See things for what they are. Do not be the fool, okay? Withdraw, fall back, reconsider, and save yourself. Love yourself enough to save yourself, whoever you're dealing with. You got to release this toxic energy, this double energy. I know you feel binded to this person, but this person doesn't love you, unfortunately. I'm just going to keep it funky with you. This has hurt my heart, Virgo. All right. Thank you for sticking in and tuning into my channel. Um, if you would like a reading from me, you can contact me from uh, my email address, butterfly, E-Y-E underscore A-M, the number three, at yahoo.com. And I'm taking cash out. I'm sorry. I'm doing these readings late, so I keep going. I'm taking cash out right now. Um, so if you would like a reading, holler at your girl. I'm Butterfly, Butterfly Tarot. This is, I'm just hoping some, some peace for you, Virgo. This was a very sad reading. Okay. Peace. Love. And light to you, Virgo. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once you subscribe, hit the notification button so that you will be updated about whenever I upload videos. Okay? Wish you the best for you, Virgo. Peace and so much love. Thank you. Bye-bye.